So a phone call to the Ritchie County Humane Society leads to a rescue on this very hot day. 12 News' Gwen Napier has more. This dog, currently known as Old Man, is enjoying his stay at the Ritchie County Humane Society, where he enjoys his own private suite and treats. However, just a few days ago, this was how he was found along Route 50. It was almost lunchtime, and then we got a message on Facebook that um, an individual was driving to Parkersburg and seen a black and white dog sitting on a blue rolled up tarp on the side of Route 50. Um, on, they said dirt road where at 31 is. So we were kind of trying to piece together what exactly road it was on. So um, about an hour later, we got tied up with people coming in and animals and you know adoption stuff like that. So we finally got to go out down Route 50 and then we seen the blue tarp. We didn't see the dog at first, so we just pulled off, but he was behind the tarp in a hole that he had dug to keep cool. While the Ritchie County Humane Society is unsure why someone would leave a dog tied to guardrails by bailing twine and a tarp, they believe the issue might be the overpopulation of shelters and encourage people to spay and neuter their animals. Seeing more people, I mean, you know, dump off their dogs or they'll say that they're not sure what they're going to do with it, they'll get rid of it. Um, I mean, every shelter is slam packed with dogs and cats. We try to do our best. We're overcrowded right now. We have, I think, like five or six dogs that are paired up together downstairs because so we don't have enough room. So, Usually, I mean, you hear it all the time, spay and neuter, but it's very important. There's puppies and kittens everywhere that people, there's not enough people to adopt, um, but there's more supply, you know, coming from dogs and cats. Since the Humane Society comes up with names all of the time, they are encouraging their followers to help name Old Man. If interested in participating, you can visit the Ritchie County Humane Society's Facebook page. Reporting in Ritchie County for 12 News, I'm Gwen Napier.